Jordan, Barkley, LeBron, and Shaq. I am your host, Jacques Slade, and this is the week in Sneaks. The round mound of rebound, aka Charles Barkley, wore some of my favorite Nike basketball sneakers when he was in the league, and the Barkley Posit Max is no different. The model is set to drop in four colorways over the next four months, with the first one dropping this weekend in the Philly colorway. Next month, in May, we'll see the Phoenix colorway, and then there'll be two other colorways after that. The model is slated as a lifestyle version of the shoe, though, these days, and it's priced at $235. Shout out to Mark Dolce for a very dope design. Shaq and the Shaq Attack is back. After a 20-year hiatus, Reebok finally dropped the Shaq Attack in the original Orlando colorway. Now, if you're looking to find out a little bit more information about the Shaq Attack outside of the fact that it's in the Orlando colorway, you should definitely head over to Complex where they put together 20 things that you did not know about the Shaq Attack. One thing that I found very interesting was that the shoe was designed in only four months, which is crazy when it comes to sneaker design. Uh, If that's not enough, you should also hop over to Soul Collector because Nick DePaula got a chance to interview Shaq and he talked him about actually signing with Reebok, about his business savvy, and of course about Shaq dunking on people. If you want to find out more about those stories, I put links to both of those down in the description. For those that like to run or who just like to style on them, ASICs dropped two colorways this week. First up is the ASICs Jail Saga 2 Kill Bill in yellow and black, which actually released on Thursday and is already sold out. Sorry, sorry about that. And the second pair is the Ronnie Feig Design ASICS Jail Light 3 New York. Details are slim about this model, but the colors clearly represent the Knicks, and it looks like it's a mix of suede on the upper with some hits of 3M. We actually showed you this pair alongside a Dolphins pair over the weekend, neither of which has a release date. Jordan Brand was getting busy this week as well when they dropped the CP36AE or Artisan Edition. The model is a slightly changed version of the CP36 and uh, they have three colorways available right now on Nike.com and they're priced at $125. In additional Jordan brand news, the Air Jordan 8 hair, home, or Bugs Bunny or whatever colorway uh, or nickname it is you want to give it also drops this weekend. That'll be $160. The official colorway is white, hyper blue, true red, and flint gray. Uh, Just to give you a little bit of Air Jordan 8 facts, uh, it was worn by Michael Jordan in 1993 and it was a shoe he wore when he won his first three-peat. To ID or not to ID is the question. Well, fortunately, you have a few more days to decide as Nike this week announced the Nike ID option for the LeBron 10 Elite. Following the release of the Elite Plus versions on the LeBron 10 and the KD5 low this weekend, you will have the chance to Nike ID your own Elite starting Tuesday. Nike has added a bunch of colors and options on the ID front for the LeBron 10, and prices start at $300 for the irregular Elite version, then they have the Elite Plus version, which is going to be $320, and then for $390, you get the Elite Plus version plus the sports pack. Last week for the question of the video, I wanted to know your thoughts on the Nike Roshi Run. Well, here are a few of your comments. First up, we have Trevor Colosco, who said the Roshi runs are fire and that you can't beat a sneaker for $100, and I actually agree with that. Next up, we have Soul Seeker, who said he liked the shoe before all the hype came in, but he still thinks it's a good daily kick. Finally, we have Matt Jarvis, who said Roshi runs are a great looking shoe and are huge for the summer, but the price is too high. They are 70 pounds in the UK, which is around $100 to $110 US, which is just too much for a shoe with literally no tech. For a lower price, they'd be great. And now we have a heat check. Don't forget to smile. For the heat check this week, I'm actually rocking the Reebok Shaq Attack. It is by far my favorite Shaq shoe. Uh, One thing I definitely want to point out is that I'm glad that Reebok brought it back and kept it really true to the original. The pump actually worked. It has the graphite here on the side, which is really dope, and definitely love the colorway. So shout out to Reebok Classics for keeping it true to the original, because this is just how I remembered it. For this week's question of the video, I want to know what shoe do you want to hit Nike ID that hasn't already hit Nike ID? Let me know down in the comments and of course I'll read back some of your responses next week. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button, make sure you subscribe. I am your host Jacques Slade. Click here to see why Kevin Durant hates sneakerheads. And I will see you soon. Peace.